I've got a quick tip for you today about a feature in the Tyrannus called Model Match. And the Tyrannus is not the only receiver transmitter system to have Model Match. In fact, I don't even think Model Match is a FreeSky invented name. I think that's, maybe it's Spectrum or Futaba, I don't really know. I'm sure you'll tell me in the comments. But the feature is called Model Match. And the way it works is that when we, got, when we first started getting these programmable transmitters with a whole bunch of models in them, that's pretty cool because you don't have to set up the, the transmitter differently every time you go to fly. So if you have things like your channel mapping, your endpoints, the way the servos work, and if you got to go back to the fixed wing world as if the fixed, <laughs> the fixed wing world is a thing of the past. It used to be the only thing was fixed wings. That's why we go back to it. You had all these different planes and they all had different setups. Some of them had flaps and some of them had camera and some of them had air brakes and different trims and servos and setups. And how did people even do that? Did you have a different transmitter for each plane? I have no idea what you people did. But now we have programmable transmitters and we can have all these different models in the transmitter. And that is fantastic. But I see a lot of people who get into multi-rotors do something that's really, really unnecessary. And what they do is they make a new model for every single quadcopter that they own. And for some people, that means they have 10 or 15 different models. And they have to switch between the models. And it's a real hassle to, to keep that all maintained. Especially if you change some, you want your settings to be consistent, right? You want your arm switch to be the same. You want, if you've got a, a sticky throttle or an idle up, you want that to be the same on all of your different copters so that everything is as repeatable as possible. And so if you make a change to the way things work on one model, then theoretically you have to change it on all the other models. And of course, you don't do that. Things get inconsistent. Things don't work the same. It's a big mess. It's a big hassle. I'm going to tell you how to save yourself from that. If I go into the Tyrannus' menu, and I hit page key one time, and now I'm gonna go up, up, up to this section here where you bind new transmitters. And you'll notice that there is a receiver number right here, and the receiver number I've got it set to is zero. By default, when you bind a new receiver, that will be set to a number, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, etc. And what the Tyrannus does is, every time you bind a new receiver, it increments that number. And that number is global across all of your models. So you create one model and you bind a receiver to it, and that's receiver number one. You create your next model, you bind a new receiver, that's receiver number two. The Tyrannus remembers every receiver, I think this is true, I'm not, I'm not sure how to confirm it, but it remembers every receiver you've ever bound and every receiver you've assigned a number to, and it will only bind this model to this receiver number, whatever you've got set here. And you could test this for yourself by taking one of your copters and going in here, turn, power up the copter, power up the transmitter, it'll show bound, and then the minute you change the, the receiver number, the, the, the copter will go into failsafe. You'll lose the RF link. Now that's all well and good, but if you fly multi-rotors, chances are that most or all of your models are set up exactly the same. All, all, they all have four motors, right? Not that that has anything to do with the transmitter because we're not, we're not talking to servos anymore. We just have rudder, elevator, aileron, throttle, right? We just have those four channels and they tell the flight controller what to do and the flight controller takes care of it. And we've got an arm switch and I don't know about you, but my arming switch is the same on all of my models. My, my channels go from 1,000 to 2,000 on all of my models. Everything is the same for every single quadcopter I fly from the transmitter's perspective. And that means that I can have just a single model, and you see I've named mine quadcopter, oh my god, quadcopter, right? I can have a single model here for every single quadcopter that I fly. And as long as I make sure that all of the quadcopters are set up exactly the same in the, in the flight controller, I can do that. I can get away with that. But what about model match? What about model match? Well, here's the tip for this, for this video. The tip is that if you set the receiver number to zero, then model match is disabled for this model. And you can bind as many receivers as you want to the same model, and, and it'll just, as soon as you power the, receiver, the, the copter up, it'll, it'll be linked up and it'll be good to go. Now, there are some caveats with this. The first caveat is that if your models are not, if your copters are not all set up exactly the same, you're going to get yourself into trouble. If you have one copter set up so the arming switch is flipped this way, and the other copter set up so the arming switch is flipped that way, and you and you you disable model match and you power up, 
the copter is going to be armed. Potentially bad things will happen. If your channel mapping is different or your endpoints are different or anything is different, you're going to get a, you're going to need to create a separate model. But if if like me, all of your copters are essentially set up exactly the same, then you can just set the the receiver number to 0. You'll need to do this manually because the Tyrannus will try to assign a number. You can set this to 0. Model match will be disabled. You can bind as many receivers as you want to this single model. The other caveat is, what, what happens if you've done this and you power up two of the copters at the same time? Guess what? They will both work simultaneously. At least that's my understanding. I haven't tested that. I've heard people talk about doing it. I haven't tested it myself, but my understanding is they'll both work simultaneously. And what that means is you'll have a real problem. As soon as you arm, you'll be flying one of them and the other one will be crashing really quickly. So another caveat is that you should never power up two copters at the same time, which probably you're not going to do. But like hypothetically, if you were about to fly and one of your buddies had one of your copters back on the bench and they powered it up just as you went to take off, theirs would spin up as well. So don't do that. There's one more caveat about this, and that is this only works with X series receivers, the X4R, the XSR. If you're flying the X8R, that one too, all of the X series receivers for uh, FreeSky work with model match. The D series receivers, like the D4R2, or those little micro S-bus receivers, which use the D8 protocol, those ones do not work with model match. You can you combine them to as many different models as you want. It's exactly as if you had set the receiver number to zero down here. Well, there you go. That's your quick little uh, tutorial about the Tyrannus model match feature. Uh, I, you, I've been surprised how many people I've met who own a Tyrannus who actually have no idea that this even exists. Uh, so, and they, they've got 27 different models for every single quadcopter they've ever owned. What a hassle. You don't have to do that. You can selectively choose to disable model match and have all of your quadcopters on the same model. You can put them on different models. For example, when I, got a, when I had a KISS quadcopter, KISS forces the arming switch to be high, or is it low? I don't remember. It's the opposite of the way I normally do it. And so I had to set up a different model for that one because there was something that was unique and distinct about that one. So fine. Uh, but there's your quick little tip about model match. Hope it was all helpful, educational, and happy flying.